Hey everybody, welcome back to Tired Old Queen at the Movies. Now let's go see the one and only Steve Hayes. Woohoo! Happy New Year, Johnny! <sighs> For New Year's, I decided to do one of the great romances. MGM's 1940 production of Waterloo Bridge, starring Vivian Lee, Robert Taylor, Virginia Field, Lucille Watson, C. Aubrey Smith, and Maria Opatskaya and directed by Mervyn Leroy. Now, Vivian was still in America and after Gone with the Wind, and it was the big brouhaha, and there was head open, and it was a huge success. And MGM had Olivier signed to a contract. I can bring life back to you, new and fresh. MGM wanted to use them both, so they offered Vivian Waterloo Bridge, and she wanted so much to have Larry do her leading man in Waterloo Bridge, but he was already contracted to do Pride and Prejudice with Greer Garson. Yes, let's do that. Fine. Would you excuse us, madam? They gave her their resident gorgeous leading man, Robert Taylor, to play the soldier opposite her. Now, Robert Taylor and her had already started a film over in England, an MGM film called A Yank at Oxford, a few years before, so they were familiar with each other. Basically, the story is this. It starts on the eve of World War II, and Robert Taylor is a British guy, and he's coming across the Waterloo Bridge, and he's reminiscing about back at the beginning of World War I, one night when he was younger, 20 years younger, and he met this incredibly beautiful woman on the bridge during an air raid. Do you think it'd be too unmilitary if, if we were to run? Not at all. And they run into an air raid shelter and they were there for the duration of that particular thing. And she turns out she's a ballerina. So that night he goes and sees her and he is instantly smitten with her. Runs well, Vivian Lee at her most beautiful. It's not what I said, it's what he said. The woman who runs the company, Maria Uspinskaya, uh, chastises her uh, and tells her that she can't go out because he sent a note backstage, meet me after the show. If you want supper parties, offices, and delights, you shouldn't be here with me. But thanks to her friend Kitty, played by Virginia Field, she sneaks out and she meets him and they fall in love and they have this wonderful New Year's Eve together where they play Ole Lang Syne. This is, the scene where they do this is, is so, so romantic because when, they, when they're singing Ole Lang Syne, uh, after each portion of the orchestra plays their portion, and they put out a candle, and they put out a candle, and these candles go all out while the dancers are on the floor, and finally it's just Vivian Lee and Robert Taylor dancing to Lang Syne. It's so romantic. And he wants to marry her right away, and he meets her the next day, and he whisks her out, and he's going to marry her, and he can't, and they, he's been called in, and he's been drafted, and she goes back, and Madame Uspinskaya has found out she snuck out and throws her and Kitty out of the ballet. So now she's on the street. Oh, why is she so cruel and hateful? Now he has written to his mother saying, this is the girl I love, this is the girl I want to marry. He's from a very, very wealthy old English family. So the mother comes down, and by the time the mother comes down, the girls are practically starving. I can't have her here. Why not? Let's give her a little party and open up the last tin. And Vivian Lee is meeting the mother and she has a lot of trepidation. And she picks up a newspaper and the newspaper says that her fiancé is dead. And she's learning of this and she's about to meet his mother at that moment. And it's Lucille Watson. Forgive me, my dear, but you're not afraid of me, are you? Lucille Watson, who we saw in The Women. We saw her in Harriet Craig recently. She's a wise old bird. Lucille Watson, wise old bird. And she sits down and she says, Oh, Hello, Myra. And she's like, yes, yes, uh, I don't, um, uh, is that anything wrong, my dear? No, no. She's just learned her, this woman's son is dead and the mother doesn't know it. And it's a very difficult scene. And Lucille, instead of getting all huffy about it, Lucille says, I don't think today was a very good day for us to meet. We'll try this again. I'll come down and see you again. And she walks out and, Vivian Lee faints. And she becomes so destitute, she starts becoming a prostitute on a regular basis. And she's combing the streets and getting by. They were so concerned with her being a prost playing a prostitute. And Vivian Lee was such a consummate actress that she does the whole thing. She conveys it so well, just with looks. And she's walking through the train station and the men pass her, you know, she'll... And then looks ahead and she's looking and looking the one open. 
and she's looking and looking, and the other one will come. Oh, you know, it's just she just does it all with her expression, you know, giving the eye to all these men, and there he is. And he's not dead, and she can't believe it. And then, of course, it's what's going to happen. Vivian Lee and Robert Taylor both said that this was their favorite movie that they ever did because it's got that MGM glossy romantic feel. There was no one more beautiful than Vivian. Vivian got to be British, which she loved. She just come from you know, two years of speaking Southern. First you take a low common advantage of me, then you insult me. I meant it as a compliment. Robert Taylor, this was one of the last of the romantic dashing roles that he did. After that, he started just playing rugged guys because he's, you know, he wanted to live down the whole thing that there were rumors he was gay and that his marriage to Barbara Stanwyck was a lavender marriage. There was all this stuff. So he just kept working more serious parts. But they asked him years later, they said, when he was still married to Stanwyck, they said, who was your favorite leading lady? And Robert Taylor said, oh, Vivian Lee. And they went to Stanwyck and they said, did you know that he said that Vivian Lee was his favorite leading lady? And Stanwyck said, well, he's got very good taste. <laughs> I love Barbara. You gotta know, love Barbara. And Barbara, in fact, helped coach him with, with the love scenes and stuff when he was in this movie, you know. You are reckless and headstrong and, and I adore you, Captain. They surrounded Vivian Lee with the most wonderful character actresses. <laughs> Maria Spinskaya is just terrific in this. She comes in, and she's such a she's such a mean old bird. The performance tonight was disgraceful calls one of the dancers and she goes, Maria, let me see your part of Borek. <clears throat> he goes, does that. She goes, good. Now, if you don't mind my asking, <clears throat> why couldn't you do that in the ballet? <clears throat> your movements were positively epileptic, really. They also have some rights, you know. I was concerned for you. <laughs> And then later on, she says, you have broken every rule. You must go. And Virginia Field, who's her best friend, you know, comes forward. She goes, why are you always so mean to us? And you can go too, Kitty. I won't have this in the ballet. You have to choose between men and the art. Well, the whole world doesn't begin and end with a ballet. My world does. And then, of course, the best friend of the family is C. Aubrey Smith. Oh, C. Aubrey Smith. You know, the grand old English gentleman, you know, had a handlebar mustache as big as a preschool child, you know, it's always like this, you know. Marriage? Ho, ho, ho! Oh, oh man, good choice. You're going to marry her, aren't you? Well, of course. I'd never have given my consent. I should have asked for you myself. <laughs> and this movie has that MGM gloss and romanticism that you just love. And even with Robert Taylor speaking fluent Midwest, you know, I love you, Myra! You know, <laughs> but... <laughs> You do, you know, I mean, you know, later on they cast Robert Taylor, you know, they cast him as Quo Vadis, you know, what is your name, Gladiator? Marcus Vinicius, you know, <laughs> but he was pretty, he was pretty, and he tried real hard, he tried real hard, but Taylor filled the bill here, and he is pretty, and you can't decide which is prettier in this movie, the two of them, they're gorgeous, and I think for New Year's it's a wonderful romantic way to start the year with Vivian Lee and Robert Taylor in Marvin Leroy's Waterloo Bridge. Happy New Year from Steve Hayes, Tired Old Queen at the Movies. We all send you our love Let's and hope for a wonderful lobby. year. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I do it through my eyes. <laughs> the popcorn can't be beat.